This is a demo of my 6502 multitasking operating system Geckos, which I'm showing to you on this uh, Commodore PET 4032 with 32K of RAM. Uh, having only 32K of RAM uh, makes this more a proof of concept as the helper programs and the shell leave only about uh, 6K of RAM free in the operating system. However, on larger machines you of course have much more memory free. When the operating system runs, um, it starts three processes. One to start uh, to use devices as disk files and one to access uh, files on the IEEE 488 attached disk drives and the shell that I'm using here. So you can see the devices or you can see the files on the disk drive. The operating system has uh, virtual consoles and uh, you switch between the virtual consoles with the tab key. And so let me show you uh, how to start another shell in the second virtual console. As you can see, there is a basic kind of input-output uh, redirection that allows you to uh, use uh, other devices as input, output and error channels and the ampersand in the shell sends the process into the background. So the program is loaded from disk as are almost all of the programs, uh, as I said, due to the limited uh, memory size, um, almost everything has to be loaded. And here you have the shell on the uh, second um, console. And you can have, there are only a few uh, built-in commands like this one, so where you see print the working directory to see where you are or change the working directory uh, and as you can see here even the list command is being loaded from disk which is okay in this case because uh, IEEE 488 is much faster than the serial bus on the Commodore 64 and still this one is working so the operating system uh, not only works on this pet but also on the uh, larger ones, the 6096, 8096, sorry, or uh, 8296, which have 96 kilobytes of RAM, or the Commodore 64 with with its uh, 64 kilobytes of RAM, where you have much more space for for your user programs. But you could also strip the operating system down. The kernel is uh, only 4K, 4 kilobytes in size, um, and you can also use it in uh, embedded devices if you like. So um, I hope you like it. Um, if you do, try it out, and thanks for watching.